did not go through the full presentation of the keynote speaker, but I was able to catch, catch up with a few information which is very captivating. I just want to make uh, one comment. I have nothing to add to what has been given by the experts. But I just want to add one concern, which is what we First of all, where can a Ugandan who wants to learn about the culture of Uganda get the books? Where do I get the books? Where would our students? We are talking about the love for your culture. Where do I get it? I think this is one challenge for the government, for parliament, for all these agencies which are trying to help us. All these things we are talking about are good. But at least we make it a reality, this useless. I happen to have been a member of Pan African Parliament. And the way you talk of Africa is a rise by violence and whatnot. I had the courage of asking a stupid question one day, but I asked, where did this culture of violence start from? I want to know the origin. And if you ask yourself, you are African, where did we inherit this culture of violence, killing each other, killing your brother, take over power? Where did we get it? We inherited it from the colonial master. The brutality that they use to take over Africa, to mechanize Africa, is what probably has made us to cope. Because I have, I, have, I have tried to read bits and pieces about Africa. I have not found where Africa was so bloody. And if it was, nobody would have wanted to come here anyway. So I think that's one challenge we need to uh, focus on. All these things are good. And I want to ask the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Culture for us to change. I need to look at your curriculum. What are we teaching our children? Because that's where it starts from. Inculcation of the love of my culture. I must inculcate it in a child so that it grows me. You cannot blame anyone. To have a mother who is a, a lamb like me, a father who is a lamb like my Mr. Smart, but the children are speaking English. You can't blame us. Because the colonial mass have taught us that if you speak English, you are about those who speak local languages. That's how we are uh, directing ourselves to society. So, uh, moderator, I just want to leave you with one message. I want to find out maybe from Professor Lumumba, who inspired Kwame Nkuma to paint a painting of Africa. Who inspired him? I just want to learn to you because I'm also a student of political science. Who inspired this people? Who inspired who, the people we call the founders of the, 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 uh, of the African continent? Who inspired them? I think we need to find them. And we could take off from there so that we could learn from them and probably make our society better. But uh, for me, I'm very happy that today I've seen the Canyon, that I did. Every time when I, when I stand in Parliament and teach them, I say, if I know I'm not at all stupid because you do not know that until Kabulega, and uh, Kabaka Mwanga and Chief of Witch and uh, the Lago Commander of Winyapu were disloyed from my own district. There was no Uganda. So, Tokolo is the first place of the nation called Uganda. <laughs> and if it had not been Kabaka and Mwanga, Chief of Witch, and we have to look that we have been more united in Uganda. And nobody wants to talk about it. Even if I don't have fire, if I don't have fire, if I don't have fire, I'm the only helpless guy trying to talk. <laughs> to get people to understand, I've asked some of these guys, what does Colonel mean? They don't know. Who does the move what? And it's 